Okay. What's up guys? Mark here. Right now it's November. The time just changed. Now we're an hour back. It's been getting dark at around six o'clock here in Georgia. So it's starting to feel a little bit more like winter. But today I'm pretty hungry for some fish. So I'm gonna head out to the local farmer's market and see if I can find a fresh fish to chef up for y'all today. All right, I'll see y'all there. Ooh. How much? 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 How Thank you. Yo, we're back at the crib. This is what we got. Some porgy. And some vegetables. All right, let's go. All right, today this is what we're cooking. Porgy. Today we got some porgy, otherwise known as sea brim. It's pretty popular fish in American and Jamaican cuisine. They eat a lot of crustaceans. So they say their meat has like a sweet shrimp flavor. Most species have like molar type teeth. Like they got some molar teeth and they use these to crush the crabs and crustaceans they eat. Porgy is the name for a bunch of fish in the Sparidae family. So sheep's head are in this family and then red sea brim. It's like a popular food fish in Japan. It's called Thai or Madai. It's often used in like sashimi. It's used in a whole bunch of dishes. There's a dessert called taiyaki. Taiyaki, which is a pancake with red bean in it. And it's shaped like a red sea brim. Those are really good. I recommend trying those if you haven't had those before. So today with these porgies, we're gonna make a soup. Some sort of soup with all those vegetables I got. But first, let's take the scales off. They got some small scales, not tiny, but not huge. And you want to be careful when you're taking the scales off because they got these spines and you'll be like going like this and you'll totally hit your finger in it. And it really hurts. Got the scales off. All right, next we're gonna gut them. So this is the way I do it. There's a 
You can come like this and cut like this way. Also got a new knife, by the way. It says Tanjun Naruta. It's like simple song. I think it's like the name of the company or something. One of my friends actually messaged me and she laughed at the like the meaning, like simple song. Like why would there be simple song on a knife type thing? Cause like, there's like a big thing where it's like Japanese people wear shirts with like English that doesn't make sense or like it's lame. And it's also the same thing where it's like people who aren't Japanese wear shirts with like Japanese characters or Chinese characters on it. And it'll be like a weird meaning or something like that. But it feels like a really good knife. It's bigger than my other ones. So I'm excited to use it. But yeah, we're gonna gut it. So you're gonna come from right here through this hole, the butt hole, and then just come up. Stay really shallow. Just go all the way. Open it up. Dang, these are really, really, really fresh. Normally the guts smell way worse. And grab it like this, with the gills as well. Throw it away. All right, that's one. Same thing with this one. Come from this hole right here and just stay really shallow. Just go all the way up. Open it up. Gonna grab the gills and pull. All right, throw it away. All right, now let's wash them out. Since we are gonna be using the bones to make soup, you know, take the knife and come in here, go like this and get the blood. You wanna wash all that out because that has a fish flavor. Use your finger like this. Belly nice and clean. Now let's fillet. Come from the belly right here. We're gonna flip. Come from the back. Oh, wait, actually, let's take the head off first. Yeah, actually, let's take the head off. So we're gonna come behind the collar on both sides. And then go through the bone. We're gonna use this later. All right, now let's come from the back. Go over the spine, come like that. Then we're gonna come and go through the ribs. All right, lane number one, and flip, come from the back. Same thing from the belly. Come over the spine, and then follow up the spine. So you hit the ribs. We're gonna use this to make the stock later. All right, we're gonna take the ribs off. Just come like this. All right, play number one. All right, two porgy fillets. All right, same thing with this one. We're gonna come behind the collar. Same thing on this side. Go through the bone. Come down the back. Something like that. Porgies are definitely good fish to fillet for beginners. And even as I said that, I messed up a little bit. But yeah, pretty fun fish to play. All right, fish number two. All right, last fish.
All right, we got our fillets of this porgy. All right, next, porgy got some pin bones going down the middle. We're gonna take them out with these tweezers. So you come and just pull them out. You can feel them. And they're kind of in there at an angle. So you wanna pull at an angle. This one of those things that takes a while. So if you don't wanna spend time picking out the bones, you could just cut them out. They go, they go up to about right here and there's no more bones going down that way. But I'm gonna take them out. All right, these ones got all the pin bones out. And then if you don't wanna spend time picking out the pin bones, you could make a cut right here on the right side. And then on the left side, they cut it like that. There you go, boneless porgy filet. Same thing on this one. All right, got all our porgy fillets nice and boneless. All right, we got all our porgy pieces ready. All right, next, we're gonna start on the soup. Get a wok, put that on medium heat. We're gonna put some oil. All right, once it's hot, we're gonna throw in the fish leftover. All right, next we're gonna cut up some green onion. All right, next some ginger. All right, we're gonna get another pan, some oil in there, throw in the green onion. And the ginger. And then we're gonna take the fish from before and throw it in here. And then we're gonna throw in some Georgia sink water. And then we're gonna put a top on and simmer for 20 minutes. お父さん。久しぶりじゃない。隠れないで。お、なんなんお母さんも来たじゃん。何これ。どんだけ猫来んの。ほら。ほらほらほら。さ、要は何なんお前。びっくりした。びっくりした。娘、娘さんだけいな
うわ怖わお母さんお母さんほらお母さんお母さんいやおいおいおいこれお母さんお母さんほらこれこれこれこれなんで躊躇すんのお前めちゃめちゃ美味しいこれどういうこともうこいつ分かってるけどねほらほらほらほらほらあら So this is the daddy cat and this is the mama cat and the other cat that always comes I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure these are her parents おいしいでしょおいしいでしょポーギーねえこれなんもないよなんもないよほらほらほらほらこれ腹なんだよ腹の肉骨入ってるから気をつけてねあれなんなお前しかも娘さんどこにいんのよいしょはいじゃ食べてちょうだいねこれお母さんほらほらほらだだ触っていいうわー怖っ<笑>怖っ<笑>いやー娘さん残念だったなこんな新鮮なポル,ポルギーがあんのにいないっていうもう意味わかんないんだけどまあじゃあね Alright, it's been 20 minutes. Let's pop the top and see what we got. Ooh, smells good. Okay, All right, we got our soup here. Put this aside. Alright, next. Vegetables, we got some mushrooms, some shimeji mushrooms, some tofu, and some napa cabbage. And we're gonna wash this. We're gonna take the stem out. And then cut it like this. Put that in here. Next, the mushrooms and cut off the stem. And these are good. And then the tofu. Can drain it. And put it in the cubes. Okay. All right, we're gonna saute the vegetables. Put a little bit of oil in again. Cabbage, mushrooms, all right, once it's gone down quite a bit, we're going to put in this broth, we're going to put in some sake, and some rice vinegar, some salt, And some sugar. Next, the tofu. Some soy sauce. And then next, we're gonna throw in the porgy. And simmer for 15 minutes.
Okay. Let's eat. Ooh, hoo, hoo. this looks good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The creamy broth. All right, first, let's start off with a piece of porgy. All right, right here. Dang, wow. Wow, that is excellent. That's why they say it tastes like shrimp. Yeah, it has like a sweet fish and crustacean flavor. Wow. So good. Let's try some of the soup. Mmm. Yeah, the broth is really, really, really good. You taste the ginger too, but it's not super strong. Shimeji mushrooms. Chewy, but good. Good mushroom flavor. Some tofu. fish has a very meaty texture and this has a very soft texture and they go really good together hmm wow the belly the belly definitely has a little bit stronger good flavor hmm but they're both really good this would probably be good too if you use this broth to make ramen some fish broth, ramen noodles. Woo. All right, after finishing a meal, did then pretty stud on that Asian carp cup. These are all the other cups I have, all four of them. After the 25th, these will no longer be available. So if any of y'all want to buy one of these cups, these are available till November 25th. After that, no more will be sold. I'll be having some new merch come out December or next year. So look out for that. Oh, so good. Woo. Yeah, that was really good. The porgy soup. If you like crab, shrimp, and you also like fish, definitely give it a try if you haven't before. I'm pretty sure you can catch it. It's pretty common to catch it off the coast, like the east east coast. So yeah, if you can and go out, catch some, try it out. Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon and check out my merch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.